Hey there resellers, it's Rebecca the reseller and I have another crazy keywords video for you. This is going to be number eight in my series. I have a playlist on it so you can just search Rebecca the reseller crazy keywords if you want to catch them all. If you don't know what a crazy keyword is, I am looking on Poshmark in a very specific way, which I'll show you how to do, that finds buyers specific searches. So this isn't keywords that I've decided to put on a listing. This is buyer searches. So they are asking Poshmark to serve them up results for this particular search. And I've got many different options to share with you. And so let's just dive right in so you can see what I'm talking about. You can get to this search area clicking on any listing. Many of you ask me, what's my closet? It's actually linked in my free reseller resource guide, which is down below. So if you've not downloaded my free reseller resource guide, you should totally get it. It's packed full of my video library on every topic. It's got discounts, it's got resources, it's got all my Amazon favorites, it's got everything you need. Um, and so my uh, Poshmark closet is linked in there, but I am on my rack. So as you can see that here, I am on my rack Poshmark. So I'm just going to click on one of my listings to show you how to get to it. Where's my mouse? Um, I'm going to show you how to get to it. And then I have some already pulled up. So if you click on any listing, this is just one of mine, but if you click on any listing on the computer, not on the phone, on the computer and you scroll down you will see people also searched so these crazy keywords are always going to be related somehow to the listing you are on but they give you a really wide range sometimes so that's why i have a lot of different things pulled up to share with you so like this one here i don't think this has any particularly crazy keywords so we're not going to actually use this but this is what it's called it's people also searched that's how you get to it so there are some ones that I've already kind of pre-pulled up because I thought they had some valuable keywords that we should be talking about. Because remember, keywords are really important and it's not just your keyword, it's what keyword is the buyer searching for. So I might call something X, they might call it Y. If they search Y, my X is not gonna come up in their search results. It needs to be a match. So these were a pair of like La Gents, uh, and I don't even know how to say it properly, jeans but I thought that this one was good cord jeans so they're corduroy corduroy pants is what they're looking for but they're not saying corduroy pants they're calling them cord jeans and so I thought that was good football jeans I thought was interesting I don't know what that means um, and then people put all kinds of weird crazy searches in here like what are the sizes for miss me jeans this isn't Google people this is Poshmark but people search for all kinds of weird stuff the next thing that I thought was interesting is jeans with crotch room. So they're clearly looking for like a slouchy or baggy or girlfriend or boyfriend type fit, but they don't know that that's what it's called. All they know is they want a roomy crotch. <laughs> and so, you know, at, as a self-respecting reseller, am I going to put jeans with crotch room? Probably not. But I think this is just a way and an exercise to get you thinking about what is the layman's term for the thing that you have? Because you want to probably use the fashion keyword, but what if the person doesn't know the fashion keyword and they're just looking for jeans with room in their crotch? So I thought that was interesting. Next is, let's see, to pull these all up and I have to remember what the keyword was that I thought was interesting. Um, I think this one was it. So it's basically saying jean shorts size eight from Express. And I saw that, Mm, was it on this? Here's another one. Stripe white shorts from Express. White and blue white shorts, which is weird, from Express. So people are putting in from the brand after the thing. We usually put Express black and white shorts or Express, you know, shorts, um, high rise or whatever. Like we're putting what it is and then the details but we're putting the brand first. And so I don't know, because I'm not actually an SEO expert, if you put Express first and they put it last, does it matter? I don't think so. I don't think it matters, but I just wanna bring this up that some people are saying this. And so perhaps in your title, you're saying Express blah, blah, blah shorts, but maybe in the description, you wanna say these white and blue shorts from Express, da, 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 because then you're capturing both. And so I thought that was a really interesting idea as a way to kind of repeat yourself, but in a different way that would capture two things. Okay, 
Next, I thought this was interesting and it may have come up in another crazy keywords video, which is these were like mother jeans. So it's mother jeans sale. Now I have used the word sale for different reasons in listings as a keyword. And so I've gotten away from it as I've kind of streamlined my listing process and my listing template. But this is something that makes me think perhaps I want to start including it again. Now, it doesn't mean it's gonna be a good keyword because anyone could put any word in their listings. It doesn't mean it makes sense. And so then buyers get frustrated. But having the word sale along with the other keywords in a listing might make you come up if somebody's looking for a sale on mother jeans. Now, you know, the whole, everything's on sale on Poshmark because nothing's at the retail price. Everything is some kind of discounted something. It's all pre-owned or whatever. But I think that some people want, they want the deal. They want the sale. They want to look for someone having a sale. And so that might be a good keyword to add. I think all of the other ones, we're like just, a, yeah, just the names. So we don't need to worry about that. Next up, Helmet Lang, Chiffon, you know, that's good, obviously. So Wrap Top, I think, was the one. So Wrap Top, because for me, it, you know, is it really a wrap top? Is it a faux wrap top? Is it a surplus neckline? So I think I just brought this up because of wrap top, because obviously you think of wrap dresses often, but a wrap top, you know, sometimes it crosses over, sometimes it's a true wrap top, and sometimes it's a faux wrap top, but I thought that was good. Oh, here's the other one. Helmet Lang Long Sweater. This comes up often, and I feel like it's important to put in every video because I never know who's just finding me for the first time. Long. People search long for everything. It comes up all the time. And so if you had put tunic length or if you put car coat or you put maxi dress or maxi skirt or floor length gown, someone out there doesn't know those keywords and they're searching for long. They want a long sweater instead of a tunic length sweater. They want a long sweater or a long dress instead of a maxi dress. They were searching long. So I thought that was good to highlight. And again, some of these are crazy. Some of these are just, let's start getting into the buyer's mindset and thinking, how are they searching for this item that I have? I know what I wanna say about this item, but what did they say about this item? That's who I need to reach. And you want to have all your keywords hit as many of those buyers as you can, right? Because somebody is going to know it's a maxi dress. Somebody is going to call it a floor length gown. And then somebody's going to call it long. You need to hit them all. Anyway, sheer, that's always a good one. Collared, again, these are just good keywords. Flowy is one that I often use that I think people forget about. Um, flowy is a good one. I think that was, yeah, I think that was it. Because again, the other ones are just regular keywords. They're not anything particularly crazy or special. What was the one I was looking for here? Okay, so backless I think is good because people might put different things for that. So backless is probably a word I would put, but someone might say something else. I can't really think of what right now, but I feel like I don't see backless often. But then here we have cutout, so that's important. Um, so I think there's just different ways for, um, you know, just other synonyms for these kinds of words. And I thought backlist was a good one to bring up. No back, cut out, that kind of thing. Okay, this one I thought was interesting and I'm gonna actually click on it and see. It's envelope skort. And I think I know what it is. I think it's basically something like this where it kind of wraps over, but I was curious. Yeah, that's what it is. I just wanted to see what people were saying it was in case it was something else that I didn't know. But yeah, that's exactly what I thought it was. So an envelope skort. So it's shorts, looks like a skirt, but it's wrapped over the top. And so it's an envelope skort. Now that's a new term for me, but I kind of, you know, like I said, I knew what it was, but I thought that was an interesting one because again, someone's saying envelope skort, someone else is gonna say wrap shorts or skirt with shorts wrap someone might call it asymmetrical because they you know cross over asymmetrically so there's lots of ways that one could go wrong with something like that so envelope skort i thought that was a good one that was the one i pulled up okay 
a distressed sweater. So not something that you usually think of. Obviously, maybe it's got holes and things like that, rips, tears uh, on purpose, of course. So distressed, usually I think of for jeans, but distressed sweater I thought was good. Um, so that's my offers reminder. Brandy Melville dupe cardigan. I thought that was interesting. I know a lot of people will put free people for exposure, which is wrong um, because it's, you know, probably poof. And so poof always looks like free people, right? But it's not free people. And so if someone wants free people, they want free people. They don't want poof. Um, you know, we get fooled in thrift stores all the time, but somebody who's looking for free people wants the free people sweater or whatever. But in this situation, I thought it was interesting because it's saying dupe. And so it's someone knowing specifically that they're not getting the Brandy Melville cardigan. They're looking for the dupe on purpose. And so I thought that was interesting because if you have something that is a dupe, like they always have like the Amazon, you know, on Instagram, they have like the Amazon find against the Lululemon find or whatever. If you had something that was intended to be a dupe, you may want to put the brand name and dupe. That might be something that someone is looking for. Um, so I think that was, yes. And then oversized sweater that we should all know. Oversized sweaters are the best. Okay. Uh, these are... Oh, what did I pull up on this one? I think casual pants was where I was going with this. It's just one of those things where I kind of forget about it. You know, work pants, career pants, um, you know, and then you're saying wide leg, you're saying high rise, you're saying the fabric, you're saying all these different things about the pants, but oftentimes someone's just looking for casual pants. And so, you know, or, or things that are like considered resort wear. Um, I think those all kind of go hand in hand. Like you have to kind of expand your imagination and think about where is this person going to wear these pants or whatever? What is the occasion? What is the event? Where is the location that they're gonna wear these? What is the purpose? And then you can kind of get some additional keywords. And sometimes people are just looking for a pair of casual pants, nothing formal, nothing dressy. They just want casual. Um, the other one here was work skirt. So again, People put career, people put office, people put work. So again, work. And then the other one was, here it goes again, cabby long skirt. And then right next to it is cabby maxi skirt. So all I did to get all of these today was I just went through my feed. Sometimes I'll go through and I'll pull items based on like a set of criteria. It used to be sometimes when I do my Bolo Brands videos, things that sell for $50 or more, I would do the Bolo Brands video and then I'd take all of those listings and I'd just see what kind of crazy keywords were underneath. And so that works out a lot of times. But today I just went through my feed and pulled random stuff, so that's why these are the things that came up. Um, but cabby long skirt just again proves that if you have a floor length skirt, if you have a maxi skirt, uh, you should be putting long. It kills me, it pains me, but you should put it because so many people are searching for it because they just don't know the actual terms. And so you want to sell to those people too. So this was just a quick one, just a quick crazy keywords video to get in here on a Wednesday. Now I have added um, a couple now. I've been doing Wednesday videos and Sunday videos so you can catch me twice a week. I'm trying to throw different things in, so I hope you guys like it. If you want more crazy keywords videos, please let me know down in the comments below. Say more crazy keywords videos, please, and I will go ahead and make them for you. I will see you in the next one.